Welcome to Code Review Method channel. In the last video, we learned how to set a Python version as default. In this video, we are going to learn how to install VS Code and its configuration. Uh, let's see what is VS Code. VS Code is a source code editor made by Microsoft for Windows, Linux, Mac OS. It is an open source that uh, anyone can download and use it. Uh, let's uh, select the first link. Here you have to select uh, which uh, package you need for your system. I mean uh, Ubuntu. So I will be downloading uh, this one. Dot uh, then it will redirect to the new page. By default, it will start down. So you can see if it doesn't start for you, then uh, yeah, it will show. You can say so that say then okay. Then it will start downloading. Due to time constraint, I have already downloaded the VS Code. We can now install in our system using command sudo pbkj i then code. Use tab to autocomplete. Dot dev Uh, the difference between VS Code Editor and Normal Editor is that in VS Code it provides auto completion, whereas in Normal Code Editor it will not provide. Um, okay, let me show you a quick demo of it. Yeah. Uh, in Ubuntu, you can uh, open a uh, Text editor using this g edit command and the file name. Here you can see I have already written a code where you can see I have used a print statement to print the message. You can see that it is able to detect that it's a Python code and other configuration etc but uh, say uh, I am going to enter another command for invalid command it will not show in a uh, color one it will show in black color so only for a valid syntax it will show in this color then you can print whatever message you want here I need the save to code in the Apple channel and one more thing I want to let you know that your print statement should have message and the message should include with a double quotes or single quote it is your wish let's save this file save and save okay let's close this now But you can see that it is able to print the messages in the console and now the VS code is also ready you can open your VS code using this command code uh, if you want to open this uh, VS code in current directory means current working directory you need to replace code space dot or else you can specify the path code space in the file directory path in which you want to open the VS code it's open. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss that for VS Code, we are going to install uh, two different extensions in your VS Code. One is Code Runner, another one is Python. Uh, Code Runner is used to have a play icon on the VS Code bar. 
this icon will be visible only after uh, installing code, learn, code runner in your VS Code. And Python, uh, it is used to detect the Python files and auto completion detection. It is loading. Since I've already installed code runner in my system, I will show you a demo of it. And to open a terminal, you can you select this terminal. Here you can see that to open a new terminal, you need to select this new terminal. This will open a new terminal for you if you have not uh, opened a terminal. Let's run our code using code runner. Just click this button. Uh, this will uh, prepare a command Python space file name. So it is not able to recognize Python command. To make VS Code recognizing this uh, Python command, we have to add some code in settings.json file. Uh, let me walk you through this. Uh, to open the settings or JSON file, you have to select this settings. Then here you have to select uh, settings. Uh, by default, it will show in this way. To change this into a JSON format, you need to select this icon. Now you can see that it is called change into settings or JSON file. Now you have to copy this code let's copy this four lines of code here and uh, paste in our previous code this is like we have to say that uh, for python use this python 3 and uh, code runner uh, we are specifying the path of uh, python where it is located our uh, python 3.9 is located here so we are specifying python 3.9 and this python dot python path we need to change it to python uh, let's save this now let's run our game here this time you can see that it is able to print the message you can also use this uh, run python file in terminal one. that will open a terminal and run your commands and we also have python extension that we will be installing in this video this is the one we have to install the usage of this uh, extension is to the completion and it has also a lot of other features that you can have a look by visiting this uh, extension page uh, in this video I will just show about the completion like when you type here it will uh, give suggest you that uh, in Python we have a print uh, which starts with the uh, and you can type or you can uh, use PR then uh, hit enter to pull out the complete then you can add any message to say if you use control s then uh, click this button now you can see that it's printing a message thanks for watching